CT Seltair, and now we're about to uh, put together our rig to make it mobile. Uh, we want to do this at this particular moment right now because uh, hooking the spine up to move with the controllers is actually kind of finicky, and if you keep adding on stuff, it's just going to get a little bit um, tedious. So some people start at the spine first. I like to start at second just because the feet are our foundation of a character, I feel. So just depends on how you do it. But um, when you get the spine, you should definitely start thinking about making the master control and the root control. Okay, so what I'm going to do is um, we know that everything needs to move with this circle. That's so we can place our character in the scene. So uh, I'm going to unhide this shift H, all of these things that are hidden, so that I can look at it. Now if I press shift and then I just left click this little plus sign, I can see everything that's in there. So basically, I'm just going to open up all my controls, okay? Now, it might look a little bit hectic, so you can close some for now. Um, I think I'll... I don't really need the controls right here, so I'll just click those off. Um, now, once again, I don't have the FK version, so you need to do these with the FK2 if, uh, when you have them. But basically, everything will fall in line with um, this hip center. So the root itself will have to be parented under the master controller because it has all the bones connected to it. So that's that's something simple that we can get done. So I'm just going to middle mouse drag and put it under the master control. Now for each one of these tests, I need to make I, I need to well, every time I do this, I need to make sure that everything works. So I'm just kind of moving my controller around, and you can see the bones are stretching, and that's because they're trying to get to the IK points. So for now, we've got it roughly right. It's not doing anything strange other than the fact that it's trying to get to the position it's at. So what controls the legs from moving? Well, that would be the foot controls that we set up here. So I'm going to go into my controls, and I'm going to look for some of these and I'm going to look for the foot control. So it looks like I have a left foot control and what's this? this is the knee control. Okay so I'm going to grab the foot control and I'm going to middle mouse drag as soon as I close some of this stuff out so I can get down there. Close that and that. Alright so I can middle mouse drag and place it under the mask control. But now what What's interesting is, is that all the controls are in this one group that I've put in under controls. So technically all the controls can be under the master control. So I'm just going to place it in to see if it's going to work. And I'm just going to move it around. And it looks like all the bones go with it. All the controllers, all the spines, everything. Nothing looks really odd. Okay. So now I'm going to place the root control. Let's minimize some of this. Let's minimize the hips. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm going to put the root control under the master control. And I'm going to move the master controller and the root control goes with it. But we still haven't set up the root control. So like when I currently move it, nothing's going to happen. So that's something we need to set up. So I'm just going to shift P or we'll unparent it. And we need to set up that controller. So now I'm going to go to the lower spine controls. I'm going to hide those for now. I'm going to hide the spine rig and I'm going to go down to the, there it is, hide res spine. Okay, so now I'm here. Now, right now the high res spine is not connected to any other bones. I can move it separately. Um, well, I have to move the spine curve to do that. But that's not what we want it to do. We want it to be moving based on the root control. So I'm actually going to bring up my spine rig and I'm going to hide my high res bones. That was just control H and shift P to bring and hide it. So when I move this, this is going to move the spine. So this is essentially what I need to plug my root controller up to. So let me just try putting the spine rig under the root control and see what I get. So I'll click 
click the root control and I'll move it. Well, notice how everything else is not working. It kind of like tugs and pulls in different various directions. So we need to basically find out what pattern we can use to put these into here too. So I'm going to just basically I just undid everything and see what if we put the spline curve in the root control. How will that affect it? When we move the root, nothing happens. And where's our spine curve? Our spine curve just vanished. Okay, it's up there. Why is it up there? Well, we don't really know. So we can't put the spine curve in there. So let's go back to the spine rig. Now we have some translates here that have numbers added to them. So I'm just going to right click and I'm going to freeze translate. And this is a uh, spine rig one is a joint and this skin and has skin attached. So that means the bind skin that we did to the spine control is basically it's not allowing us to do that. So how to solve this dilemma? Well, we'll find out. 